It's easy to spot a beautiful photo in the wild, but what are the steps necessary to get from the empty canvas to the final shot? We're going behind the scenes and building two different photo setups, and we'll show each step and each move so you can see the photo go from this to this. Hey guys, Tanya of Replica Surfaces here. Going behind the scenes feels super special. Whether it's watching special, never before seen footage at the end of a movie, sneaking backstage at a concert, or stepping on the set of a professional photo shoot. Seeing the magic behind the camera is important, and there's a reason it feels so special. In this video, I'll show you how we put together these two photo setups from the blank surface all the way to the final product. So let's get the ball rolling. Let's take a look at the final scene before we wipe it clean and start fresh. This first photo is featuring the smoke surface, and my good friend Beatbox Portraits shot this awesome behind the scenes of her building this nice little cookie tea scene. Very high society. The first thing, I love the smoke surface. Having just a neutral gray is such an excellent option, and the nice etching is almost like watercolor on the smoke surface. This floral platter doesn't take any shine away from the smoke surface, and actually I think the smoke surface helps enhance the florals in here and makes them a bit more vibrant and beautiful. Next up, we're going to add a little bit of a textural touch in the form of dried rose petals. Dried flowers are a great textural touch, whether you dry them yourself or you can go purchase them. Next up, we're going to add just a little splash of something bright white to round out the colors in this scene. In this instance, it's going to be a little milk jug. Doesn't have to be anything super fancy. We just wanted something nice, neutral to kind of brighten up the scene, give it that white point that it needs. Next up, we're going to add another little white container. We're gonna fill this little white pinch pot with some more rose petals, another textural touch rather than just throwing the pinch pot in by itself. And of course, we can't have tea time without a spoon. And then next up, of course, we have to add the beverages themselves. I want you to notice how the milk jug is pointed in line with the spoon. So that way your eye knows to follow that direction up through the scene. And the glasses are in line with each other. So you kind of create an angle. It's not a perfect right angle. Ever so slightly off, absolutely perfect though. Another fun thing I love about the glasses and the beverages that we added here are the little crescent moons on top of the beverages from the rose petals. Another excellent C shape within your scene. Last but not least, we have to add some cookies, jam, and some flowers just for an additional floral touch. One thing I want you to look at at these cookies is that we easily could have just thrown them all in whole and it probably would have looked just fine. But with the addition of a cookie that has a bite taken out of it, one that has some jam on the top of it, we have a ton of different things to look at throughout this scene now. And you get to have a snack in the process, which is what matters the most, snack time. And there you have it. We've got our fully built scene. We went from a scene with a simple platter on it to this beautifully styled high society tea time in these beautiful beverage glasses. Oh, just absolute perfection. We're going to work a little backwards with this one. Instead of starting with the completely blank canvas, we're gonna start with the completely built scene and we're going to take pieces away from it. We have this gorgeous spread of these cinnamon buns by none other than the lovely Beatbox Portraits because she is just amazing. The first thing I want you to look at in this final scene are these accent props, namely the spoon and the little placemat and coffee lid container at the very top. While these don't necessarily have anything to do with cinnamon buns directly, these just add extra visual interest and some nice shapes and some lines to help guide your eyes through the scene. Now let's take those away. This scene looks really good still, don't get me wrong, but these scenes feel a little empty. What I love here is the ingredients in the shot. We have a bowl of icing on the lower left and right below that we have a bowl of brown sugar. Another beautiful touch here is the little tiny spoon inside of the brown sugar. If you can find any antique silverware like this, I highly suggest scooping it up. Antique props like this never go out of style. We take a few more things away from this scene. Again, this one looks super awesome with the way the linen is flowing through the scene and the way the cinnamon buns are placed so that they direct your eye diagonally across the scene. And finally, we have the hero cinnamon rolls with their remnant drizzles and remnant texture additions. The scene looks good, but it definitely looks like there are some things missing. And that's that. We went step by step through each of these photos to show you how they went from this to this. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to let us know in a comment below. And if you want to see us do more step-by-step -step videos like this, please let us know and what you want us to see covered step-by-step. -step. Until next time, my replica friends, I will be sitting here in this chair thinking about cinnamon rolls. See you later. Thank you.